Having a baby on the way kind of puts into perspective that like, if I want disc golf to work, I have to be one of the best in the world. I was born and raised in Plano, Texas. I grew up playing disc golf with my dad. Started watching uh, YouTube, uh, Paul, Ricky, those guys. And I just took it from there and did my own thing after that. You can only go so far by watching other people. You gotta figure yourself out and learn your own shots. And then you can really see what you're capable of. So when I started going out on tour, I, and I met a lot of really cool people that have helped shape me as a person and as a player that I am today. And I think without meeting some of the people that I did, there's no telling what I'd be doing right now. I'm, everyone goes through tough times in their life and to have great friends and a great family out here as the disc golf community, it's, it's life changing. I've always had a great relationship with my dad, of course, because he's the one that taught me how to play and took me out to the course. We just spent a lot of time together. Probably around 15 or 16, and I wanted to start playing professional like Paul and Ricky and everybody. And then like 2018 is when I was like, okay, I'm really gonna get out there and do this. And I, I played more PDJ events than any other player. Playing that many events isn't really like healthy. At the same time, I needed to play that many events because I, I needed to make ends meet. Playing every weekend also provided a bunch of different scenarios. By taking a week off, I could have missed the opportunity to be three strokes back and learn how to attack and push at the end of a tournament to come back and win. And I, I could have missed that if I didn't play that 67th tournament that year. Yeah, I've been engaged to Mackenzie for quite a while now. I met her when I was 12. She was 12 or 13 at the time. She's got me by a few months. So we got married last week, actually super recent, super excited. I can't wait to just see what life has in store for us. And then also we have our baby being born in like a matter of days. I hope she hangs on for at least four more days so I can finish Worlds and then go home and meet her. I think that having the added pressure of whether I play good and I can keep doing it or I play bad and I have to find an, another career path has really pushed me forward. I definitely have a pretty good fan base of young kids. Uh, I really enjoy teaching kids, so I, I put myself out there to a lot of kids. I think because I'm the same size as a lot of them, they enjoy watching me and seeing me throw because they can look forward to being able to throw that far one day. One thing I suggest to an up and coming disc golfer is definitely stick to your putters and mid ranges and learn the basics of the game before you start getting out there to the faster disc. The biggest motivation for me as a player is the competition. I love competing. It's, I lo it's my favorite thing in the world and then also to do good for my family. The most influential player for me is Paul Macbeth. I've always looked up to him, he's a great role model. He's solid on the course, he's a solid person on the course, his attitude's great. I like his dedication. I rarely have the exact same warm-up process going into a tournament, it's kind of how I feel. I start off with putting, maybe if my putting doesn't feel good, I'll spend more time on that. If I'm throwing and then I don't feel good there, I'll spend more time throwing fairways. I'll spend more time where I feel I need in my warm-up. Nerves for me, they, they come and go. You just have to get past them. You have to tell yourself that you can do it no matter what the guys next to you do. They still have to earn the score that they get on the course the same way you do. Nothing's guaranteed out there. I'm at the World Championships not only because I love disc golf, but also because I want to make a statement and show what kind of player I can be.